general feelings niyo sa movie? Did you like it? Nag-enjoy ba kayo? May part bang kinilig kayo? Natawa kayo? I really, really like the very, very K-drama, I guess. Mm-mm. Yung meron silang promise na, oy, pag mag-snow, kita tayo, ha? Correct. Oh, Tapos, yeah. whatever happens, may meet-up point tayo, kita tayo. Ako, favorite scene, lahat ng scenes ni Jo Jung Sook. Tawang-tawa lang <laughs> Like, sobrang yung pagka-school bukol niya, yes, pasok sa banga. Honest to goodness, hin- hindi siya tumatak sa akin masyado. <laughs> so, I-, I think it may not be my cup of tea. Siguro kung may tumatak sa akin, And as a person coming from this day and age, it's just that it is already, it's very dated. And a lot of the male actions in this film are freaking questionable. So I think that kind of like ruined the experience for me. One, two, sarang! Hey! 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 Annyeong! This is Monica! Hello everyone! This is Trency! Annyeong! This is Pia! And welcome to another episode of One, Two, Sarang! Hearty, Yay. hearty! Woo. Welcome back, guys! Yes! Hearty, Hi. hearty talaga! Dahil ngayong araw, ang pag-uusapan natin ay something to do with love. Dahil isa ito sa mga movies na lagi kong napapansin, laging binabanggit ng mga... K-pop, K-actors K- when it comes to like whatever references that they have. And nagulat ako dahil nasa view pala itong movie na ito. Hi, view! Wow! Mm. <laughs> Parati tayong kumakatok. <laughs> view nandito ka eh! Oo! Oh, oh. <laughs> Ay, pinapansin. <laughs> dami na namin. <laughs> Di ba? dami na po namin episodes of view. Isa na dyan, Twinkling Watermelon. Pakicheck po. Twinkling wat- Watermelon episode namin. Isa sa favorite K-dramas namin of last year. But what we're talking about today, about love, meron ding parang sort of nostalgia. Hindi siya time travel, pero meron din siyang mga timelines blurring. Mm-hmm. It is about Architecture 101. Yeah. Yan, 101. Yan ang pag-uusapan namin for this episode. So, kayo ba, napapansin yon na isa siya sa mga laging binabanggit kapag may mga interview or even sa mga variety, they always make references to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, may naalala ko, someone, I don't remember who, maybe, was it Song Kwan? Like, hinirit niya something about the t-shirt, the guest t-shirt, siya ba yun? Uh-huh. Ah, or by hindi oh, si Song oh, Kwan. But someone oh, oh, did. Oh. I vaguely remember someone or feeling ko Gose or whatever referring to that print correct, um, of correct. the shirt. And like, pero hindi ko na siya na-research kung kailan. Pero yun yung super tumatak sa akin. Like, when you brought up this topic, parang yun yung pinaka naalala ko na ginamit nila. Oo. Oh, oh. Parang nga, meron din akong faint memory niyan. Sige, hanapin namin kung anong go say episode and ipopost din namin yan on our social media para ma-check din ninyo para as one of the references na laging ginagamit. Ikaw, Trans, meron ka rin bang mga napapansin na ganun? Parang as a general thought lang. Parang I, I, don't, I can't recall kung saan ko siya narinig or whatever, pero when you mention nga Architecture 101, automatic meron siyang na-trigger na thought eh. Which is Uh-oh. architecture. Wow, joke. Pero, alam mo yun, parang may, meron akong faint recollection of it being mentioned nga. And considering yeah. it's already like an old film, ano, 2012 film, na parang yes. the fact na I am familiar of it. Na parang, okay, so mga na-mention na rin siya several times siguro sa mga Uh-oh. K-drama or K-variety more so. Most, Most likely, likely yeah. K-variety. Correct. Mm-hmm. Actually, madalas siyang i-reference sa Two Days, One Night because, of course, ang ating ah, Jung Hoon ang butihing may bahay ng isa sa mga lead correct. dito. E, isa yun sa mga parang major recent eh. Sige, ilalagay rin namin ang Two Days, One Night na sa view rin. Hi, view! <laughs> <laughs> Doon din namin yung pinapanood. Correct. Maria, sige, ilalagay din namin kasi may pinaka major recent na napag-usapan nila yon. Okay, so tungkol saan nga ba yung episode namin today, it's just gonna be simple because it's very light just like this movie. Light nga ba? Mm-hmm. Tingnan natin. Minsan pag sinasabi namin yan, hindi ganun ka light. But there is uh, just three questions that we will be talking about. First, nagets nyo ba yung hype nitong movie na to? 
ano isa palagay niyo yung reason why is this one of the most beloved Korean films. And then next, syempre, it all the movie revolved around Seon's house. It's one of the biggest metaphors that was used in the film. What part of the construction of the house struck you the most? And then finally, ito na. Do you believe that first love never dies? Tignan natin. Parang feeling ko meron na naman tayo madadagdag sa lore ng... Love life ni Monica. Napipiece together yung <laughs> oh, mga listeners natin. Ayun ako. Ayun ako. Name drop na gano'n. Ayun lang ako. Ayun ako. Bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> Pwede na silang gumawa ng, ano, ng timeline tapos i-analyze nila. Ah, ito yung sinabi ni Monica. Correct. Ito na. Oh, oh. Ayan. Ayun ako. Ayun ako. Ayun ako. Ayun Okay, ah. so for, for the summary of this film, actually, kinuha ko yung synopsis niya. Sa view din. Oh, ang dami ko ng mention ng view. Pero ito kasi, it's very succinct. <laughs> diba? Hello? Pansinin niyo na kami. Napaka succinct nung pagkakasummarize yeah. dito. And I think it captured it perfectly. It says, An architect gets an unexpected visit by his first love, whom he hasn't seen in many years, bringing back memories from one, when they first met 15 years ago. Oh. oh parang... Kuwang ko ano niya, kung ano nga yung mangyayari dito sa movie na to. And who is in this, who are the casts na cast na kasali dito sa film na to? Okay, so we have Bay Suzy. Dito siya in ng very freshness and the very peak uh-huh. ng kanyang ano talaga, popularity. Mm. And ang katambal niya nung kabataan um, because sila yung nagpa-play nung... Back in the 90s, ang katambal niya doon ay si Lee Ji Hoon in his softness era. Correct. Diba? Mm-hmm. Baka softness niya dito. Correct. Sobrang leading Baby man. Ba? Natin ay idol. Correct. Dito ata and siya the, nagsimula eh. Tama ba? Oh, I'm Parang not sure. Parang dito siya kinilala. Parang dito siya umangat because of this film. Baka. Fair. Correct. Kasi mas film siya, no? Bago siya mag-play mm-hmm. drama. Mm-mm. Bilang ang trajectory nga ng career niya ay parang Coco Martin. Correct! <laughs> diba? Hindi pa hindi, hindi muna, ganyan. Kung naalala nyo guys, we refer Lee Jae-hoon as the Coco Martin of Korea. Correct. Diba? <laughs> Taxi driver? Oh, may three mm-hmm. na ba? Baka tuloy-tuloy na yan. Go! <laughs> And then, also part of this film is, ito na nga, ang butihing may bahay ni jong Hoon. Bilang sa amin, who just got exposed to K-drama Hollywood during the pandemic, hindi na namin naabutan yung pinaka-peak na siya talaga yung it girl mm-hmm. ng Korea, si Han Gain. Sorry naman, Han Gain, para sa amin, ikaw yung asawa ni Jong Hoon at not the other way around. Correct! <laughs> Pero grabe na, sobrang ganda na. niya. Grabe. It's my first time to see her Can I just in share? Yeah. Na siya ang Korean sa Magalona Bacaro. Hindi <laughs> ba ako lang ba? <laughs> Bakit malaki mata ganoon? Asin nung talaga siya nakita. Y- Asin talagang sab. Asin may ganun siyang look about her. Oh, close oh, kayo ah. <laughs> close talaga. Pwede no? Parang may ganun silang same. But I don't know vibe. who else to compare to look. Oo. Pero she has a distinct Uh-oh. face medyo, kasi. Me- yeah. Hindi siya masyadong late. Yes, Korean she does. Yung lupa. Parang medyo... I know, I mean, if there's a Korean very... design, siya yun. Parang ganun. Oo, oo, oo. Very angelic. Mm-mm. Yes. As in, magpapatingin ka talaga Correct. sa kanya. Na, maganda rin si Bae Suzy, ha? Mm-hmm. Pero parang saan natin makoconnect na sila yung before and after? Or kabataan? <laughs> yeah, eh. Oh my God. Hindi ko talaga. <laughs> yun din <laughs> crush ko. <laughs> diba? Siguro kaya siya hindi nakilala nung ano, nung first love niya. Kasi eh, nagbago yun yung tura mo, Bech. Sobrang layo, eh. <laughs> Baka ano, naka-embrace na rin doon yung Korean culture of retoke. Kasi <laughs> yeah, retoke yun girl from like a long face to a oh, round face. Oh, medyo oh, round. Oh. Tapos parang yung mata, ang laki-laki na ano. Pero, Pero sige, push natin. Pero tutusin mo, di ba, pag nagpaparetoke sila, ang gusto nila, round mm. eyes. Oh, and like, naman. mas nakalift. So, sakto lang naman ang trajectory. <laughs> Bilang siya ang peg, ang hangain ang peg, kahit na bay Suzy ka na. Sobrang ganda mo na. Ay, hindi, pipeg mo pa rin. May okay, sige. Push natin yan. At ang naging partner naman ni Han Gain ay si Om Tae Wong. Mm-hmm. Na, trivia, kapatid siya ni Om Jung Wa. Oh! Oh, oh, that's why Long apparently year. it was hard for him to have a, oh, I think so, pero yun, kaya nahirapan siya mag-breakthrough sa career kasi lagi siyang nasa shadow yeah. nga naman ng kasikatan ng kapatid oh. niya. Who's, who's Um Jung Wa for those who don't know her? Nako! Dahil 
pag pinag-uusapan namin kanisa yung Sandara Park, mm. alam nyo na, yung kanyang uh, release na single that was actually sampled from the song of Um Jung Wa. So, she was a really huge K-pop uh, singer or an uh, idol or singer talaga siya na sobrang sikat and she also acts. Ano yung K-drama niya, yung, Chance, that yun you watched? Eh, yung recent K-drama niya, Dr. Dr. Cha. Cha. Oo. Oo. Yan. So, yun nga yung... And ako super funny talaga ako niya. Kasi parang, you know, she's like in her later years. I think she's already in her 50s. Pero that woman, she is such a powerhouse. Yeah. Alam mo yun? Parang, like, if she wants to do something, she's gonna do it. And I just love her style. In fairness. Sobrang nakakatuwa siya. And kasama niya she si Wasa. Funky. And, Uh-oh. Oh, funky. Uh-oh. So, kasama si Wasa, si... Si isa? Si... Um, si Hiori. Hiori. Si Hiori. Oo. So, Uh-oh. ano sila yung mga dancing queens? Ano yun? Basta may show sila that they yes. travel around Korea. Oo. Nasa view. view din yun. O, di ba naman view? Grabe na. Ang so, dami. Ang dami. Ang dami. Ang dami. Ang dami. Ang dami. Kailangan namin gawin yung view? Kailangan ba yung episode view na kalagay? <laughs> Architecture 101 view? Ganyan. Okay, titag namin kayo mga 10 times. Mm-mm. Okay. Namaste. And then, syempre, tulad, correct, nung napag-usapan namin before na ah, hindi na kompleto usually ang mga K-drama, isama na natin ng film kung walang school bukul na nasa cast <laughs> at ang ating resident school bukul dito ay none other than my love, si Jo Jung Sook na ako nakilala ko na siya because of hospital playlist. Pero ito talaga yung isa sa mga iconic niyang mga roles na ito talaga nagpasikat sa kanya and from there mm-hmm. naging leading man na siya. Mm-hmm. Meron na siyang K-drama ngayon eh. Pero nasa Netflix naman. Hi, Netflix! Baka naman. Tingnan <laughs> natin. natin H- hitting yan. all birds. Alam mo yun? Baka may isa <laughs> oh, oh, Come on! Baka may mag-stick lang. Ano bang Let's Amazon dyan na pwede natin i-mention? Um, Marry my mamaya. husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon Prime. Masabi lang. And na in okay, who, so, who is also in one night. Exactly. Two one night. And watch. On view. On view. Mm. Oh. So this film was written and directed by Lee Yong Ju. Wag niyo mm-hmm. siyang i-confuse kay Pisek Show's Yong Ju. Kasi nung ginugugol ko siya kanina, yung lumalabas yun sa Pisek Show na comedian, yung the lead guy. Parang hindi, hindi po siya. Uh-huh. Pero magkapangalan sila. So he directed this and then after this he also had several films Virtual Bride that was in 2015 and the latest one is Sobok which showed in 2021. Okay. So dahil na pag-usapan na natin yung cast at pati na rin kung sino nag-direct at nagsulat nitong film. Umpisahan na natin after yung mapanood itong movie na ito. Nagets niyo ba yung hype and bakit Sa palagay nyo, why is this one of those most beloved Korean films? Oh, I have to mention mm. as well na kaya din siya nandun sa status na yun because it was the highest grossing film of 2012 in Korea and it held that title for quite a while. Wow. Hindi ko alam ko ano yung nakatalo. Pero that's why talagang sobrang laki nito. It was mm. massive when it was released. Okay. So yeah. kayo, nagets nyo ba kung bakit siya na-hype? I read. Um, ako kasi parang I feel like I can't really understand sa true. Kasi parang feeling ko, mm-hmm. yung hype hindi nag-transcend ng culture and time. Kaya hindi ko maintindihan ngayon as who I am mm-hmm. now. So parang like, I, I don't know kung ano yung setup ng Korea noong mga panahon na yon at bakit ito yung gantong klaseng pelikula ang um, pinag, pinag, ano yung tinang, tinangkilik? Tama ba yung term ko? Oo, oh, oh, tinangkilik. Yung gantong klaseng oh, oh. film, yung tinangkilik nila. So, I mean, I don't understand it so much. Pero parang like, okay lang naman sa akin. Hindi ko kailangan maintindihan. So, I wanna like, see it na lang, I guess, from where I am now. Parang ganun. What, what do you mean by that? Like, bakit mo hmm. hindi maintindihan? Ano yung part na yun? Considering yun nga, I mean, sinas- sabi mo kanina, okay, it was in 2012. Hmm. No, 2012, ano bang mga sikat nung time na yun? Hindi ko rin maisip right now. Yun but anyway, eh. so... Kasi parang feeling ko, I don't know, like, the movie naman din kasi itself, there's, like, a lot of cultural nuances din. Na parang mm. feeling ko, hindi ko mafo-fully understand. So, parang, like, mm. I will only always watch it from an outsider's point of view talaga. Like, compared to, for example, yeah. the recent movies right now, yung mga k-drama, ganyan, parang meron pa rin sense na, okay, like, since I also understand what Korea is now in terms of their culture, 
parang it's easier for me to kind of like contextualize kung anong nangyayari. Pero ito kasi sobrang mm-hmm. layo na niya from me time-wise and culture-wise. Kaya, regarding that question in terms of hype, hindi ko siya fully ma-understand. Kasi it's such a like mm-hmm. quiet film. Alam mo yun? I, I mean, I can imagine pag sa Pilipinas, di uso yung mga ganyan ni eh. Alam mo yun? And I'm coming from that Filipino uh, mindset. Kasi, uh, alam mo yun? Yes. Kaya parang, Ay. hindi ko siya ma- ma-gets. At kasi hindi ko rin gets kung ano yung ano yung klaseng, kung ba, ano yung feels ng Korean entertainment at that time as well. So, parang ako like, hindi ko magets pero okay lang, tanggap ko pa rin na meron siyang hype. Uh-huh. I mean, Go ahead, Mon. Mm-hmm. What were you saying? <laughs> ako opposite mm-hmm. naman yung thoughts ko on it being Filipino-like. Mm-hmm. Because wh- while I was watching it, I had to like, check the year mm-hmm. it was like, um, released. Kasi parang, it had the same feels of how our films were like back in around mm. that time kasi talo na medyo familiar din ako kasi nung mga time na yon yun yung mga starting out years ko so pa indie indie the film for me felt like a very indie treatment the pelikula mm-hmm. and actually while watching it um though hindi naman same trajectory same story mm. pero more or less same kind of unrequited mm. love kind mm-hmm. of thing mm-hmm. Uh, spoiler ba yun? Sorry. Parang naalala ko dito yung movies natin like Sana Dati, yeah. I'm Drunk, I Love mm-hmm. You. Yung mga ganon. Even with the kind of shots, the kind yes. of pace, the kind of, mm-hmm. alam mo yun, um, punch ng acting. It felt very, very similar to mm-hmm. ours. Yes. Um, the ones I know at least. Kasi, oh yeah. But anyway, so, parang yung thoughts ko on this, hindi ako masyadong nag- veer towards ah, oh, bakit to ginusto ng mga Koreano? Parang mas, yung inisip ko was, were we like that? I mean, ganun ba talaga yung trend during that time? Kasi it felt like it eh. Yeah. So, what should make sense? Kasi parang hawaan lang din naman tayo ng mga yeah. parang trends with how we do movies. Okay. Like, kung, kung may mag, ma-hit na some film, like from the Western world or from Korea mm-hmm. or from um, South America, Mexico or something like that, more or less gagayahin yan mm-hmm. ng the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yun? Mm-hmm. Like, for example, when, um, what's that, um, um, Train to mm-hmm. Busan was a massive hit in Korea, a lot of other countries started making Zombie, zombie, not necessarily yeah. zombie, pero thriller yeah. films that yeah. are similar, mm. alam mo yun. So, mas dun ako, at hindi ko alam though, kung sumikat ba yung Arky 101, because, um, yun na yun. I mean, from the core of it, I mean, the actual story of it, yun na yung mm. ginusto ng mga Koreano, or was it because the trend, the worldwide Mm-mm. trend. Maybe. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm assuming mm-hmm. lang. Yeah. But was it something that the audiences were familiar with or looking for at that mm-hmm. time? Yeah, exactly. And even though it was a very, very simple film, it was well made naman. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yun, magandang putol, magandang pacing, whatever. So it's easy to watch. Yeah. So I also understand to watch, why. Parang, yeah. Yeah, how long yeah. is it? Parang, I'd, like, a little over one hour fifty eight almost so, almost two almost hours. two hours din so, naman siya pretty smooth ano nga pero hindi mo siya na feel eh oh, oh very very oh. smooth oh. considering yeah. na quiet my husband although, also a... yeah my husband also pointed that out mm-hmm. na parang for a film that was like released in 2012 it mm-hmm. didn't feel so slow mm-hmm. and kilala natin mga kay drama yeah. kapag slow slow <laughs> oh 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 correct so yun. So yun yung thoughts ko on why it was popular. Mm-hmm. Although may nabasa ako sa Wikipedia na apparently ang pinakamaraming nanood talaga yung nag-move ng ng ticket mm. sales were male moviegoers. Did you guys know about Did you guys read about this? Because apparently, okay. yeah, as in it's the males who kept on watching it because they really resonated to the how they feel about first love, I guess. Mm-hmm. Eh, syempre kasi yung main character din naman natin is a guy. So, parang nag-resonate sila sa journey yeah. ni, what's his name? Um, Shucks, what's his name again? Lee Ji Hoon's character? <laughs> Bakit hindi ko rin maalala yung <laughs> ano? Oh my God! <laughs> Sung Min, Sung Min. Ayun. Ayun. Sung parang, oo, parang di, sobrang, mm-hmm. I don't know, ayun, baka na-mirror nila yung mga parang may, experiences nila. Mm-hmm. Tapos, so, sila yung nanood. Parang may nabasa rin ako na, ano lang, short clip. I don't, I don't know kung, like, 
ganon ka factual yun. Pero a lot of now that you mention mm. nga na parang a lot of the viewers were men. It was the time din kasi na yun nga height nga ni Bay Suzy. So I think yeah, her exactly. being the lead actress also pulled in all those male viewers. Yeah. Siya ang hanga in yeah. of 2012. I think. Yeah. And that's why I was also mm-hmm. gonna say like when one was mentioning like the the films that were sick at here na mm-hmm. indie pero hello naman I'm drunk I love you mahayan tsaka Paul Avellino diba? Oh. Paul Avellino yes. mga yun. Tapos correct, sana correct. that is Lovey po diba? Mm. So parang yes. talagang kahit na sabihin mong indie hindi sila yung mga hindi natin kilala. Parang ma- maku-curious ka pa because you're so used to seeing these people in the mainstream tas gaganta sila. Mm. Uh, I'm not saying na in ditong ano ah, itong Architecture 101 but I'm just saying malaking pull talaga yung mga actors yeah. but then it delivered as well this really nice film very touching and very relatable dahil alam nating big deal sa mga Koreano ang first love. Isa yan sa lagi nilang Uh-oh. topic at laging pinag-uusapan Mm-mm. and talagang lahat ng mga references in pop culture when it comes to first love nanjan so i think parang all those elements perhaps came together for them to be able to really like this one and i think deserve naman niya kasi yun nga i feel like despite some issues baka naman lumabas mamaya na medyo yun nga this happened way before the me too movement ha mm, but yeah. to be fair medyo ano naman um, aware naman yung character nung ni Baffled, <laughs> ni Best Friend, mm. na parang, ha? Hinalikan mo siya ng tulog? That's a crime. May oh, ganun naman siya sinabi. Correct. But yeah, but this happened way before the Me Too movement, so madami din mga nangyari dito na medyo questionable for feminists and all of that. But if you look at it, at its time, parang okay, mm. super gets for the hype. Okay, sige. So, puntahan na natin yung pinaka-thesis ng story. So, it really revolved around Soyun wanting to build mm-hmm. a house. So, ito yung isa sa parang napaka-blatant na metaphor used. It was always in the dialogue. It was always very very seen visually in, in a lot of scenes. So, para sa inyo, ano yung part ng construction ng bahay that really struck you guys the most? Honestly, can question ko kung bakit. Kung bakit naging architecture. Kung bakit what? Kung bakit yun yung metaphor to begin with. Like, I, I mean, and maybe you can shed some answers for me. Why was uh-huh. it that to begin with? Bakit architecture ang ginawa nilang Mm-mm. parang metaphor for the journey of um, rekindling or rather nostalgic love, first love, parang may. Mm-hmm. So, pa- Ako, mm-hmm. parang what's, yeah. What struck me about that was like, kasi isa sa mga paulit-ulit na sinasabi mm-hmm. ni Soyon, the lead, the lead girl, mm-hmm. she always mentions how much she has changed, how much she has grown. Mm-hmm. Pero kasi when it comes to like structures, may mga bagay na nandun pa rin. Sige, nagdedecay. Like her house, di ba? Sobrang nagdecay na. Pero di ba may part dun na, oh, my dad built this, tas hindi pa tuyo yung semento, pero tuma- tumapak na ako. So, naka, em, nandun pa rin yung paan niya na maliit, tas kinumpare niya sa paan niya right now. Mm. So, tas parang <clears throat> very, ano na, yung difference ng parang structures are structures. May iba na nawawala, may na ano. Mm-mm. But then, tayo as tao, since compare niya to first love from her journey from before and now, yung structure, yan pa rin siya, pero ako, nagbago na ako. Mm-mm. Pero ito, ito pa rin siya. Parang yun yung contrast that I saw that I really like yeah. about this one. That's why I really wanted to talk about the house mm-hmm. as a metaphor. Siguro, I guess, to add to that, parang yung dating sa akin, and I appreciate actually th- this question that you asked. Kasi para talagang, it's a quiet film, hindi siya sobrang outright na sinasabi nila kung ano yung point ng ginagawa niya. It yeah. needs a little bit of pondering. So, parang, and this really got me to thinking kung ano siya. And I think siguro yung nag-stand out sa akin in terms of the, the house metaphor was how the house was built. Parang it's, parang meron siyang yung original house niya and then the modern structure was kind of built around it. So it feels yeah. for me like two, two parts. Parang the house is her father and she is also the house. Kumbaga parang, mm-hmm. kumbaga she grew into this like modern persona after like 20 years. Alam mo yun? na binild niya sarili niya, but deep inside, there's always this girl, like, who's kind of like yearning for, um, I don't know, like yung mga 
old dreams niya. Alam mo yun, she started off naman mm-hmm. kasi na ganun. She wanted to be a pianist. Yeah. Kaya lang, yeah. um, you know, parang na dismay siya Uh-oh. kasi, oo, oh, oh, parang hindi siya at par with all the soul lights kasi she didn't have like enough training. Actually, baliktad. Hmm? No? Baliktad. Nagalit yung mga soul lights sa kanya kasi siya walang kasi training. Siya, mas parang mag- mag- siya. mas naturally gifted yeah. siya. Oh, And I think meron din, may, may ano rin eh, something oh, about oh. like her being a small town girl. Like, exactly. to yes. make it, you need connections. I mean, kasi mm-hmm. she was comparing it to Uh-oh. the rich soul lights, eh. Alam mo yun. So, exactly. yeah. already with her description, mm-hmm. with how she said it, parang, Uh-oh. parang it's as if nag-give up siya dahil wala siyang kakampi. At hindi niya afford. Uh-oh. Kasi so, yun, parang ganun. And then, the other one, parang yung with the dad niya, kasi parang, I mean, compared comparing the two um, lead characters, Parang the guy leaves the mom behind, but she decides to stay. So I, it felt for me like my enveloping of the dad as a form of a house with her own structure that she built around it. So parang there's like this mm-hmm. feeling of acceptance of, alam mo yun, na you, this is where she wants to be, and it is to be with yeah. her father. Parang. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very curious. Wala lang, kasi I never thought of, I looked at it at this as very mm-hmm. love story. So yeah. naka-focus ako dun sa love angle. So mm-hmm. I didn't see it look at it that way the way mm-hmm. you're explaining it. So parang curious ako dun sa metaphors na ano. Mm-hmm. Something for me to think yeah. about. How about you Mon? What yung do you think? Yung mo, Trency, parang so y- kumpaga, she wants to keep her roots and that's like basically the base of yes. the house. Kasi I mean you saw it, 'di ba? Parang they kept the mm-hmm. uh, old bricks. Parang, with her ano pa yung height oh, pa niya. Oh, yung may height, mga markings oh, oh. ng height niya. So, mm-hmm. they kept like those old elements so that I guess, para hindi niya makalimutan nga yung that part of her life. Sobrang gusto ko yung sequence no, na um, yung present ng present si Song Min ng different kinds of houses. Uh, mm-hmm. Tapos yeah. wala talagang nag na, walang nag-hit sa kanya na, ooh, I like this. Until he finally mm-hmm. suggested na, why don't we just expand the house? I mean, why don't we just Mm-mm. change Uh-oh. things up? And then that's when Mm-mm. she lit up yeah. and said, okay, let's do that. And then, mm-hmm. gusto ko rin yung little details na in the house. I really like, towards the end, kahit na last minute, they decided na her bedroom would become a piano room. This, where mm-hmm. will I sleep? Yeah. He built her a second floor. Nahalatang fake. <laughs> But anyway. Nahalatang <laughs> <laughs> sepa lang. But anyway. <laughs> um, so, parang, I really like that because it was like her making room for new things. Na connected pa rin mm. sa old. So, parang, it's still, yeah. mm, it's still her dream of sorts. So, kumbaga, hindi talaga siya nawala. Pero, Mm-hmm. Um, although it's changed, it's still that. It's still the piano. It was it was a m- big part of her life. So I like that, that mm-hmm. she made room. And I really, really like the big windows. I have a feeling, though, that when... Sobrang super, ganda. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling, though, na syempre it has something to do na rin with art direction. Now, let's make the windows really, really wide. Because, like, Let's hello? not consider Uh-oh. the weather <laughs> in <laughs> bedroom. Pero, oh, but I have quenta Uh-oh. about that Ooh, later. Okay, so, okay, I mean, lalo na naging trend yon in Jeju. Plus, you know, construction materials and techniques, I guess, are better na. Um, but, 2012. So, mm. parang, hello, may dagat ka in front. So, syempre, lakayan mo na yung window para kita, para may perfect mm-hmm. view ka of um, the sea. Yeah. But at the same time, it also felt like her having that massive window. Parang, parang ano, parang yung metaphor niya is mas naliwanagan na siya sa buhay. Parang ganun. Parang she's that, mm. parang Aww. mas Yeah. broader na yung views niya of life. Parang, um, mm. hindi na siya, well, it's very open and very grand. And I think, I guess it's also yes. something to, has something to do with how, where she is na at that point in life. And I'm yeah. pretty sure she wanted that too kasi back then, di ba, nag, 
nag-squatter pa sila. Parang, di ba, they snuck in like an abandoned house and then she fixed it. Mm, so technically, yes, it's not hers, but it, she yeah. rebuilt it, blah, blah, blah. Pero very ano din siya. It was a traditional hanbok. Mm, hanok, hanok. Hanok. So like, ano yun, mas walls siya, mas wall instead of windowy. So, ang yeah. ganda ng, True. ang ganda ng difference between the two. Na yung sarili niya ng bahay yes. mas open, mas maaliwalas. Yeah. And Mm-mm. it felt more peaceful. So, parang it really felt like Correct. she's calmed down. Parang ganun. Yeah. Ganda. Sige, bago ko anuhin muna, is that yung trivia ko pala is that, mm. so, obviously, they built Soyon's house as a set. And then, 2012, nagkaroon ng massive typhoon. And Jeju was one of the hardest hit. Tapos, so, nag-collapse yung structure. Mm. And then they rebuilt it exactly as it is. And it's now a cafe. Yeah. It's oh. called Soyeon's House. Oh. So, if you go to Jeju, you can go visit. That's and you cute. can see those massive windows and enjoy coffee once you do. Does it include but the yun, second floor? Oh, daw. Ah, so, Ay, hindi ko alam kung yung, yung second floor means like the room. Oo, oh, oh, yung room. Yeah, yeah. Pero gusto room. lang ako. Gusto ko makita yung second floor point. though. Sobrang love ko yung... Hmm. Diba, they kept the old garden. Oh, they kept the old roofing. Tapos yun yung surrounded yeah. by garden. Bakit? Cute yung garden. Uh-huh. Pero nainis ako dun sa fact na ang, yung window mas mababa kesa sa bubong. Sana window? it's higher than Ah, yung dun sa kwarto. Oo. Oh, oh, yung kwarto, sa yeah. Kwarto, eh, kasi yung fake kasi dun, set lang siya. Masisikatang ka ng araw sa mukha. So, ang init. <laughs> correct, correct. <laughs> diba, magbabounce. Super gets. Hmm. Yun, super ganda lang Mm-mm. nung sinabi ni Mon kanina about like yung house na Mm-mm. nahanap nila in Mm-mm. one of their walks while they were walking around the town because it was their um, homework na because architecture is about getting to know your neighbors daw. So, they were taking photos around town. So, mm-hmm. they found this ab- abandoned house. Ang ganda lang nung pagkaka-describe lang ni Monica na yun nga, when they were mm-hmm. there, it was poor walls. Kasi dun kumbaga yung quote-unquote, secret love nila, they still were so unsure. So, they were just in this place where it was all kept. It was all a secret. Nasa ilalim pa lahat ng feelings nila. Never sila umamin. They're just there flirting. Whatever. And then now, dun na sila, dun sa house with like a big window. And parang mas open na sila with their feelings. And there's a lot of realization that happened as well. We don't wanna give away the ending. Just in case, napakatagal na nito. Pero sige, uh, i-discover ninyo kayo mag-journey. Pero yun, like with the big house and a lot of realizations that happened there as well na parang the openness and parang na, na tatawa nga ako kasi parang even yung yung super super simple detalye na si Han Gain it started with her nakapusod yung buhok mm. naka high heels lagi with the masikip na dress and then as the show progresses paluwag na ng paluwag yung ban niya hanggang naging ponytail, hanggang nakalugay na siya. Tapos yung mga damit niya from super sikip, paluwag na ng paluwag kasi nasa, yung ganun. Uh-oh. So parang, it's also very, ano, very clear sa mata mo na parang, okay, she's loosening up, she's trying okay, to, release. ano, she's now free. Mm-hmm. She's now able to express kung ano man siya. Which also, yung sa akin naman, yung favorite ko dun sa um, mm. construction ng house actually, was also yung sa, yung sa piano. I, I super love that kasi parang before, so basically, uh, since they met in college, but then nothing really progressed, diba? So parang ngayon, nung, nung sinasabi ni so yun na, uh, I wanna do this. So parang, ah, madali naman for the architect, si Song Min, na sabihin na, mm. hindi, tapos na kontrata ko eh. And then sinabi naman nung boss niya na, I can take over. Pero pinili ni Song Min na, sige, tapusin, tapusin. ko to. Because finally, magkakaroon na ng closure yung story nila kasi before Uh-oh. it was just Mm-mm. left hanging. Uh-oh. So I just love that that na parang okay, he saw it through until the very end. Kung paano man yun natapos, mm-hmm. ganun siya natapos. Pero at least ngayon, hindi na siya up in the air, puro questions, ano na nangyari, hindi natin sure. So I love na parang at this time, at this point in his life, pinili niya na, o oh, sige, tapusin mm-hmm. natin tong kwento na to. So that was my favorite ano naman favorite na dun sa can, can I add something na nangyari. Ayan, can I add oh, you were something? You're saying something Chancy. I mean in terms yeah. of like the whole concept of architecture nga, and, and and like nakita naman natin sa classes nila na yun nga it's not just about like building, you know, houses, designing and all that, but it's also all about your vicinity. So parang ganun. And I think I I your background, your background no? and I like yeah. that yun nga na mention mo nga na parang 
she yung journey ni Soyon coming from that super tight posod soul light girl into this loose haired um jejudo girly <laughs> jejudo girly jejudo hmm. girly <laughs> correct oh jeju core jeju core jeju core nakaano na siya naka super loose top and like cashmere cashmere mayaman pa rin kasi siya eh. oh flowy Tapos skirt yung, parang <laughs> oo oh Correct. Nang asawa siya, parang oh. manghutot ng pera. Pero kasi makita natin na parang, <laughs> eh, eh, with the emphasis of vicinity, parang, nung younger days nila, they were really both outsiders of Seoul. So parang, one guy lives up north, the other one, the girl lives in a province. So meron talaga, yeah. parang, may lostness in terms of being in Seoul. And I like that you mentioned nga na parang, nag, nagbago yung appearance niya eventually. Kasi parang, she came back to herself and it comes with an acceptance of who she is and where she comes from. Versus before, kasi parang, they were really trying hard to be, you know, part of the city, you know, and yung conversation pa mm. nga nila na parang, yeah. So, yeah. Yung, so yun yun eh, yung sabi yun na parang, ah, hindi, oh, si, tama ba? Parang she was say, ah, yung parang sinasabi nung, what's his name? Park Wook, the, the, no, the, the so, older so archie, archie dude, yung medyo douchebag na parang, um, senior, senior friend nila. Si ano, si hospital, ah, hospital playlist, playlist guide siya. Anyway, si Uh-oh. Yu so, Yong Sok yung pangalan niya. Yung older archie student. Siya yung, ah, yung sige, older archie student na medyo may problematic ways, by the way. With, when it comes to women. Yes. Mm-hmm. Medyo very. And the, parang she was trying to like get on with him, you know, asking him kung saan siya nakatira, knowing full well that she cannot afford that shit. Alam mo yun? And then si Song Min din yeah, parang like, correct. oh, we should move. But knowing full well that they cannot do that. Alam mo yun? So, parang, yeah. I like yeah. that na may ganun siyang journey. I question his journey, though. Kasi parang, we've been mm-hmm. talking about her journey for the most part. Parang, ako naman, right now, I want to get some clarity din kung saan siya papunta. Kasi it feels like they're going different directions. She's coming back home to herself, but where is yeah. he going? Yeah. Yung, and actually, parang isa din sa mga tumatak din sa akin about mm-hmm. yung journey naman ni Song Min was nung yun nung sinabi niya diba sa mom niya na parang mm-hmm. can we move to like Gangnam parang ganon tapos parang nanay niya parang bakit tayo 20 dollars lang kinita ko today Gangnam Gangnam ka dyan and then he walked out of the house ah. and he kicked the gate yeah. tapos nun mm-hmm. bumuka yung gate sa baba tapos dahil dun sa galit niya and then nung bumalik na naman siya sa mom niya na parang Kasi he was going to fly na to the US because he has a fiancé. They have plans of going there. So, nag-usap sila. Tapos parang yung mom niya, parang, kasi his concern was, I need to stay with you. You're old. You're sick. Tapos parang yung mom niya, hindi. Go be kind to your wife. Tapos binigyan siya ng pera para umalis. Tapos sa galit niya, na parang hindi niya maintindi nangyari, went out, sat on the porch, uh, on the steps, tapos nakatabi niya yung gate, tapos kalakalawang na yung sinipa niya dati mm-hmm. nung sa galit niya sa mom niya. Na parang makikita mo na like yung journey niya is really going out. Yun naman yung gusto niya kasi ayaw na ayaw na niya mm-hmm. from the very start din sa house nila. When he opens the ref, Cramp. it feels so, ano ba yan? Dami nauhulog. Mm-hmm. Ano ba yan? Ah, sikip-sikip dito. Ayoko dito. Parang he's really meant to leave and he got the blessing mm-hmm. of his mom na parang go. Ako, dito na ako mamamatay. Mm-hmm. Hindi na ako aalis dito. Pero ikaw, you're not meant here. Go ahead. So, parang mm-hmm. yun yung naano ko sa kanya. Meron din siyang ano naman eh, finding his place yeah. in the world. Mm-hmm. Na, na same yeah. din yung journey ni So, yun. Pero, yun nga, may love thing in between that happened between them. But, you know, as individuals, parang ganun lang din naman yung nakita ko sa kwento nila. Na, nakita mo, I mean, um, with a guest t-shirt Correct. nga, um, mm-hmm. hindi na lang, wag na lang natin spoil because I think it's one of the pinaka-reference thing, maybe? Um, yeah. but basically, um, sa kanya naman, well, so yun din naman, pero sa kanya rin, poverty was, um, what was, stopping him from, hindi naman stopping, pero parang alam niyang, isa siyang wall, holding him back, na kailangan niyang akyatin. Alam mo yun? Yeah. Tapos, yeah. may mga kasama nga siya, na kaya naman lahat. I mean, gets, parang, it, feel, it, it feels easier, just because, mm. they can afford it more, etc. So, yeah. 
him um going through that para yun naman din yung nakita kong journey sa kanya um mm-hmm. naisip ko lang din now you were asking kasi bakit mm-hmm. Arky 101 ang tanong ko is so obviously in all courses naman all degrees lahat may 101 mm-hmm. classes I, or architecture 101 if that course even exists ganun ba talaga for this film, in the story at least, I like it because, so ang, yun nga, like what you mentioned, Pia, yung homework is to get to know your surroundings. Because it's when you know things, when you observe things, it's, that's what will help you in designing, in creating kasi structures. Kasi mm-hmm. hindi lang, ang architecture or any design for that matter, hindi lang mm-hmm. siya ganda-ganda eh. You have to take into consideration, um, structure. I think Shensi would know this more, pero parang, alam mo yun, parang what's better for the structure of a certain neighborhood? Anong bagay or anong kaya ng lupa? Alam mo yun, may uh, geology involved din yan. Alam mo yun, hanggang anong elevation lang pwede for this area. Stuff like that. So, them going on those homeworks na getting to know different places in different parts of the world, although for them, Korea, of course. Um, that's when you can figure out what you want to do. Or yun yung nakuha ko eh. That's how you can figure out what you want to do or what kind of architecture mm. you want to be. Or alam mo yun, kung saang direction ka patung, mm. patung. Kasi kanya-kanyang style okay. din yan eh. Alam mo yun, kanya-kanyang mm. techniques and stuff like that. So, ang ganda lang, I guess, for me, na Architecture 101. Natuhog naman siya na since the two of them, yun yung journey nila, na they began from not really knowing what to do because of different instances that are mm-hmm. holding them back. Um, and then, eventually, towards the end, napakita naman na they do figure out kahit pa paano. Although the journey doesn't end, kasi parang even though they were able to finish the house and he was able to fly off to wherever, alam din naman natin na with life, Continuous lang yan. We don't know what's gonna happen mm. and stuff like that. Pero, kumbaga, nandun yung, nakita natin yung takbo ng kwento through the intertwining of architecture, mm. quote and quote. Yeah. Parang ganon. Mm. Ayun lang naman. I thank you very ako much. Ako parang, uh, ako naman, like, more of as simple as, yun nga, like yung mga structure, I don't know, dahil sa first love and whatever, Parang diba, parang ang dami kasi tayo, parang mga physical structures na nawawala na. Alam mo yon parang may, may ganun lang ako na parang, alam mo tayo naman mga build and destroy tayo. Alam natin yan. So yon parang kasi one of the, parang areas then like, kunwari my husband, we met in this bar mm. that doesn't exist anymore. Mm. Pero yung framework, no, structure, mm. nandun pa rin siya. Yung parang ganun, parang it's just so, parang, Places are but structures. Tas, wait lang ha. May nabasa kasi ang quote mm. kanina. Tinatry kong hanapin. Na that really struck me. Na parang yung building, building lang yan. Yan yung, yan yung mag-hold ng space. Pero yung tao yung mag-fill in sa kanya. Mm. And parang yun yung, parang, and it, talking about relationships and how they were supposed to and not and supposed to and not. Parang how people just makes use of that space. Kailangan ko mahanap yung quote na yun. Sige, hanapin ko lang. Lalabas Space. ko later. Because that's the thing that struck me. And that's parang yun yung pinaka naging framework ko talaga dun sa pag-intindi din itong film na to. Nice. Sorry, may sabihin ka ba, Chens? Ako siguro, just to add my quip na lang din. And I super agree with yung, ano nyo, yung um, observations nyo about it. About it being Architecture 101. Na, yun nga eh, parang, yung, when I was like thinking over th- these things din, parang, yung tumatak sa akin yung phrase na if walls could talk kasi parang it feels mm. like yeah. you know parang there's like not a lot of communication with them but the walls of the house the houses the structures are witness to whatever is happening there and yun nga parang ang ganda rin ng sabi ni P na parang wala na yung bar pero nandiyan pa rin yung structure alam mo yun parang it stands the test of time and it will forever mm. serve as uh, a symbol of what, or not a symbol, but like a um, a trigger 
I guess, of like that memory. Mm. Yun. So parang, I mean, when they met, na-trigger lahat ulit yun. Yakala nila, tapos na, diba? Pero, <laughs> meron pa well, pala. <laughs> okay, I really couldn't find the exact quote. Sige, i- ipopost ko na mm-hmm. lang. <laughs> ipopost na lang namin sa Twitter and then, para you guys could see mm-hmm. yung sinasabi namin na yun. Okay, sige. Before we go to the final question, um, general feelings niyo sa movie, did you like it? Um, nag, ano, uh, is it, Nag-enjoy ba kayo? May part bang kinilig kayo? Natawa kayo? I really, really like the... Yung meron silang... Na very, very K-drama, I guess. Yung meron silang promise mm-hmm. na, Oy, pag mag-snow, kita tayo, ha? Correct. Tapos, whatever happens, may meet-up point tayo, kita tayo. Um, nagkita ba sila? Alamin nyo na lang. Pero yung y- yun, ah. <laughs> alam niyo, sorry, yeah. pag gusto ko sana mapanood nyo, listener, sana yon Pero sobrang yeah. gusto ko yon kasi um, parang ano, <laughs> para siyang ano, I shit ba mas spoil ko? <laughs> broken, so, broken, broken, broken. Parang na natin kanina pa yan. Okay. Parang, parang okay naman. nasabi natin lahat ng pwede mangyari sa pelikula na to. Totoo so, din naman. <laughs> o hindi pa naman, di natin nag away yung ending oh, masyado. Okay, fine. Okay, But basically, para siyang Dahil hindi sila nagkita. So, mm. para siyang, oh, parang false promises talaga pag first love. Wow! Correct. Ay, nako, 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 nako. Oh, no. nako. Bakit may ganon? Malalim ang pinanggalingan ng sinabi niya. Para sa mga nagpipiece together ng ating Monica Lore, ayan na, ang isa ninyong ano, <laughs> i-add. <laughs> Iko chance any scene that stood out? Kilig, ah, scene. Tawa, whatever. Okay. Di ko prepare, di ko prepare sa tanong. Ano ba yung scene na nag-send out? Ha? Ah, okay. Um, honest to goodness, hindi siya tumatak sa akin masyado. <laughs> Talaga. Oh, it's not it's I, I think it may not be my cup of tea. Siguro kung may tumatak sa akin and as a person coming from this day and age, it's just that it is already it's very dated. And a lot of the male actions in this film are freaking questionable. So I think that kind of like ruined the experience for me. I had to really like step back to like appreciate it more because it was just so not our time anymore. Which part specifically? Yung conversations mostly ng mga lalaki with each other about how they're gonna get Which the one? girl, bed the girl, alam mo yun, parang, uh, alam mo yun, and it's, and yun nga, I mean, I guess that's why marami rin siyang nahatak ng mga lalaki, because it's pretty much like from a uh, male perspective, in that sense. Mm. Although, I appreciate our discussion now, kasi it gives more meaning than to Soyon's female experience, but still Mm-mm. within the context of a very misogynistic 2012 Korean society. So, may ganun lang na hurdle mm-hmm. na kailang anuhin. So for me, the the film wasn't wasn't was more of like parang hindi ko siya masyadong na feel as I feel like it mm-hmm. people would have seen when when they saw it back then, they would have felt like more alam mo yun, mas marami silang naramdaman. Yeah, gets gets it. gets. Parang for yeah. me mas ano pa siya, parang alam mo yun, parang mas It was just an easy watch. Parang ganun. But I didn't really mm, mm, mm. feel much about it. I guess that those are my last words about it. Mm. Ooh. Gusto. Yung kay ano, sa, babanggitin ko lang din kasi mm. pinag-usapan natin kasi si Yu Yun Sok. Mm. Sabi ko kanina, may sabihin ako tukoy kay Yu Yun Sok. Um, siya yung ginawang pain ni na PD kay V8. Correct! Kaya sobrang disappointed si V8. Yun. That's him. Oh. Because so he's a huge tour. star. Okay. He's yeah. also in the Reply 1997 yeah. series. And one of the bigger... Kasi sobrang bigatin kasi talaga ng cast mm-hmm. eh. Uh, isa siya sa mga favorite din talaga ng mga actors. Mm-hmm. That's why talaga malaki yung hatak nito. Mm-hmm. Okay, ako, favorite scene, lahat ng scenes ni Jo Jung Sook. Tawang-tawa lang talaga ako sa kanya. Like, sobrang yung pagka-school bukol niya, yes, pasok sa banga. From the moose, to the kissing, tas yung kapag litong-lito na siya, happiness, tatlo ba pinon? Parang may ganun, wala may puto ay na neto. Tatlo yung pinang happiness. Ewan ko ba tawang-tawa ako dun. Okay, sige. So, pumunta na muna tayo. Um, of course, we will end every episode with, uh, this episode with a one-line review. Pero bago kami pumunta niyan, meron muna akong 
Um, iksian nyo na lang yung sagot ninyo mm. sa tanong ko. Dahil nga, umikot ang story nitong film na to sa first love. Mm. Do you guys believe that first love never dies? Why or why not? I believe it never dies, but it can also move on. <laughs> Does that make sense? Mm. Ah! To, to another plane. <laughs> Literal, to America. A plane to America. To America. <laughs> Shed you first. Me, you know, first love go. Wow. Oh! Uy! Ayan na. O, oh, kita nyo. O, oh, umpisahan na rin natin ang ating trendy lore. Pag-i-piece together lahat ng kwento niya. <laughs> Ikaw? Ako? Parang... Do you believe I, in first I, love? I, uh, that first love never dies? I think it doesn't die, but it transforms. It becomes... Oh, uh, so pin- uh, buhay pa rin siya, pero hindi na siya love. Ano na siya? Nostalgia. Zombie? Memory na siya. Cheka. Oh, mm. So, parang... Okay. Ayun. Gets. Ikaw, Pia. Well, para sa akin, actually, pinag-isipan ko siya kanina. Sabi ko, yes, it dies. <laughs> Kasi, <laughs> hindi, pero, gets ko yung, ano, yung nostalgia. Mm. Uh-huh. Oo, minahal kita nung time na yon. Pero right now, hindi ko na masasabing mahal pa rin kita. Nung oh, time na yon, oh, that oh. version of Pia. Mm. Yun lang siya. Pero sa version of Pia right now, sorry, mm-hmm. past this past. Pero hindi mo siya makakalimutan eh, di ba? Correct. Ayun lang parang... naman. Memory Ay. na lang siya. Naku, 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 naku. Ay. Malalim, malalim. <laughs> ano ba? Ay. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> Tsaka hindi mo siya pwede i-deny kasi hinuluma ka niya bilang tao. So, paano ka hinuluma? Oo, di ba? Monica. Ano? Ah! <laughs> Okay. So, ang review ko po. <laughs> wow! We grabe you all our audience to tell them the truth. We are here sa for episode, that. Sa episode 210 na lang. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow ano, grabe ang commitment. Grabe. Oh, okay, paspasan na. Kumapit daw kayo hanggang dulo. Doa tayo ng episode. Okay, so like now. 6 to 10 minutes each. <laughs> Taga, <laughs> parang next week, oh, 210 correct. episode na. <laughs> Ang bilis. Mga tip episode. Anyong, okay, bye! Oh, okay, bye! Okay, release na yan. Kailangan na yan. natin yung ano, God. Quentin It's a freaking boring <laughs> story. It's not worth it. It is It's not boring. It's fine. Okay. O, sige. Mag-ano na tayo. Punta na tayo sa ating one-line reviews. Okay. Go. Sinong gusto mo una sa Ako, one-line I'll review? Start. Okay. Ito very technical. Hindi man technical, pero boring. Pero sige. But this is my truth. So I will say it. If you want to understand... Go. Ulitin ko. If you want to understand the evolution of Korean rom-coms, try watching it, but prepare for some cultural difference and problematic tropes that did not age well. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. This film reminded me that life has a design for you that you make yourself with others. Oh, the collaboration and stuff. It is an easy-to-watch film where yeah. the cinematic language used is very easy to understand and appreciate. Okay. So, I think, yan na po ang aming mga one-minute reviews. Siguro, mm-hmm. kung hindi nyo pa rin napapanood, panoorin nyo na rin po. I think, it's just two hours if you have like a lazy Saturday night where nothing to do. Mm-mm. Then why not watch this? It is on View. View. Hi, View. V-I-U. View. View. Dito na tayo sa final part of our episode kung saan maglalaro kami ng game. At dahil hmm. ang pinaka-theme nitong movie na to ay first love. So, i-coconnect natin sa first love itong game natin. So, simple lang, we will be doing Mad Libs. So, meron ako ditong mga Mad Libs. Mm-hmm. So, what happens ba sa mga Mad Libs? So, usually, there's like this, um, ang pinili ko, parang mga short poems. So, and then there are blanks in between. So, mer- uh, dun sa mga blanks, it could be like a noun, an adjective, a verb, or like an ex- an expression, ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, kung kanino man naka-assign yun, so, sasab- magsasabi ka, kunwari ako, sabihin ko, okay, adjective. So, mag-alternate na lang. So, si Monica magbibigay ng adjective. Tapos sabihin ko, verb. Tapos bibigay, trendy yung verb. And then, kapag nalagay ko na na-fill in the blanks, I'll read out kung ano man yung madlib na yun. 
So, yun ang aming mga message sa aming mga first love. Pakinggan ninyo. Ako muna, so kailangan, so si Monica and then si Trency, yun na lang yung okay. ano, order. Okay. Sige. Noun. Apple. Noun, Trency. Bingo balls. Adjective, Monica. Blue. Adverb, Trency. Verb, dissect. Adverb, ah, adverb. adverb. Ano yung adverb? <laughs> Salit major. Yung may L, it ends in L-Y. Ah, I dissect, uh, ano, ano, um, carefully. Noun, Monica. Caterpillar. Adjective, Trency. Strong. Noun, Monica. Tennis racket. Alam niyo na, teatro tayo, so kailangan natin tong basahin with feelings. Okay. So, this is for my first love. Oh, apple of my bingo balls. <laughs> Our love now feels so blue. Carefully, we have drifted, my caterpillar, <laughs> leaving behind a strong tennis racket. <laughs> what? Aww. I think we're having balls that. involved your Actually, relationship namin. Oh my. May bingo, may tennis, tsaka blue balls. Oh, I felt that. <laughs> Song Kwan. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Oh. Yes. So <laughs> funny. Mamahalin pa rin kita, pero mas mahal mo yung bola oh, kesa sa akin. True. <laughs> Kaya kayo nag-break. <laughs> oh, dahil mas minal oh, yung bola. Magiging masaya siya oh, sa isang ano. Magiging, mas- magiging masaya siya sa isang remote island. Kung meron siyang Wilson. Oh, kung may bola mm-hmm. siya. Okay na siya. Yes. Happiness. Ikaw naman next chance. Okay. Last natin si Monica. Alright. I go first. Okay. Can I have an adjective please? Pretty. Pretty. Okay. Okay, Monica, an adjective, please. Large. Large. Okay, isa pong noun from Pia. Electric fan. Okay. Okay. And then, can I have a noun for Monica? Kimchi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Going back to our Korean roots. Okay, isa pong noun from Pia. Hanbok. Hanbok. Okay, going full Korean here. Okay, next Korean, I expect again a verb from Monica. Singing. Singing. Okay. I thought you were going to say trotting. Chega. <laughs> okay. Okay, no? Okay lang, okay lang yan. Okay. All right. So, this is my very tender letter to my first love. <laughs> it's called Adu. Pretty large electric fan. Hindi <laughs> na magsasummer na. And it goes like this. It's a rap chart. Okay. It goes like this. Farewell, my pretty large electric fan. Our love was like a kimchi in bloom. Full fertilization. Fertilization. Fermentation. Now... It's gone like a handbook at noon. Wow. Afternoon delight. <laughs> I'll cherish the memories we once did. Singing. Oy. We sang oh. in the afternoon as the handbook was gone and the kimchi was in full bloom because of Uh-oh. my pretty large electric fan. Electric fan. Yes. <laughs> Kasi kailangan nandun siya sa jar sa labas ng handbook. So Correct. Parang, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, na-feel ko yun. Parang napaka, okay. ano, rural town Korea. Exactly. Ang parang little forest. Ganun. Oh, oh, very little forest. Favorite Correct. ni DK. Correct. Oh, Naisingit. Siya ang aking pretty large electric fan. Bilang ang laki ng bibig niya talaga. I call him aside from calling him my pretty large electric fan I call him my very expensive Dyson <laughs> very effective okay. in making my burning body cooler <laughs> hi Dyson hi Dyson okay <laughs> drop us some stuff naman oh <laughs> oh, oh, just go. Okay, okay some choice, my some choice turn. Na magbibili sa atin. No, go, I one. Tama. Chancy, you start. A noun, please. Noun. Timbuktu. Timbuktu? <laughs> noun, please, Pia. Ring light. Wow. Adjective. Bright. 
Kia adverb? Musically. The former diba TikTok. Up yun? <laughs> Kaya nga eh. <laughs> Noun please, Trency. Platform. Sorry, okay. can you change that? I want to put papag. Oh, okay, papag. An adjective, uh, adjective, please, Pia. Flat. Flat papag. Mm. <laughs> and a noun. Discussions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nakatingin ba tayo sa brand book? <laughs> oh my <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my letter to my first love. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, Timbuktu of my ring light. Our love now feels so bright. Oh. Musically, we drifted papa, leaving behind a flat discussion. <laughs> Girl, para siyang nung isang gabi, di ba, nag, ano, nag-haywire yung chat GPT. Kagabi ata yun. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> yun, yun yun ngayon. <laughs> Actually. It's the same vibe. Ako naman, parang feeling ko, kasi parang magkaiba yung gusto nila eh. Yung isa gusto ng, ano, ng musicals. Mm-hmm. Yung isa gusto ng straight plays. So, hindi sila magkatagpo. So, okay, goodbye. Tama. Uh, tama. Baka yun nga yung, ano, tama, tama. Oo. Feeling ko. So, very architecture 101. Yes. Mm-mm. It still mm. goes back to. Correct, correct. Oh, hey, so there. Thank you so much to everybody for listening to our episode. We hope that you enjoyed it. And kung napanood nyo na rin yung Architecture 101 or planning to watch it pa lang, please get in touch with us. Let's talk about it. Kung meron sa inyo who shares the same opinion as Chen C because again, sinabi nga natin, way before the Me Too movement naman to nangyari. Not to excuse, hindi naman sinabi na porket wala pang Me Too, pwede nang maging misogynist ng mga tao. But if you share the same thoughts, then let us know. Pag-usapan natin yan. And kung meron din sa inyo na gusto mo kapag-usap na sa first love, hindi kasi Monica. Pag-usapan ninyo. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ako na naman! <laughs> Oo! Oh, oh. Ano ba? <laughs> first love never dies for Monica. Yes. No, but ang tanong ko is Gusto ko ng bahay Baka Monica, for you it bahay? has died Baka for me it has died Oo, pero paano kung sa first love mo hindi pa? Ah, mamatay na Ay, <laughs> maawa! <laughs> 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 <laughs>